Hello everyone, it's me Om Prakash. I'm currently studying in Basveshwar Engineering College and I'm the student of Civil Department. So today here I'll be discussing about one of the very important methods in the subject structural analysis that is unit load method. So in this problem we'll be discussing this. Determine the vertical dis displacement of joint T. Take AE as constant. So this is what the diagram we have. So we need to consider this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8 and 9. Since we have the roller support over here, so we'll have VA and here we have BC and here we have HC since it is having a fixed support. We have two support reactions. Hence we have this formula that is YE is equal to summation of PUL upon AE and we need to consider the summation of fx is equal to 0 in this particular diagram. So what are the horizontal components we have for this? Hc, HC minus 15 is equal to 0. Hc is equal to 15 kilonewton. So this is what we have as the first equation. Now let us consider summation of Fy is equal to 0. What will be having here? So here we have Va, Vc, 10, 25. So let's arrange them and write it systematically so what is the equation we get when we keep summation of fy is equal to 0 so equation what we have is so it is va plus vc minus 25 minus 10 minus 20 is equal to 0 so va vc 10 and 25 we have arranged it and one more 20 which we have at the downside Okay, what the equation we have here? Va plus Vc is equal to 55 kilonewton. So this is what is our second equation. So now let us consider summation of moment of that particular point A is equal to 0. So what is the equation we'll be getting? Let us consider Vc. Vc at point A is Vc into 4 because perpendicular distance from Vc to this particular point A is 4. Next let's consider 15. So 15 into 2. Since 2 is the perpendicular distance from 15 kilonewton which is acting at that particular point next one more force we have that is what minus 10 into 2 2 is acting at acting at the middle point e which is upwards next we have 20 into 2 which is equal to 0 so if you solve this equation we have 4 vc plus 30 minus 20 minus 40 is equal to 0 so 4 vc is equal to 30 so if you solve this equation you have Vc is equal to 7.5 7.5 kN if you substitute in equation 2 what you have Va, Va is equal to 47.5 kN so we have found everything now let's systematically draw this diagram once again so that we can represent all the points which are required for us to solve this problem so let's do it so we have here the members like this so this is 1 this is 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so this is 2 meter 2 meter 2 meter and 2 meter so here we have how much the value for this is 47.5 we have already calculated it and for this here we have the value is 7.5 and the horizontal component value also we have already found out which is 15 kilonewton and here we have 15 kilonewton here we have 10 kilonewton and here we have 25 kilonewton so this is what the diagram we have right now let us draw the free body diagram of point d so we have here t7 so this is 15 kilonewton this is T8 this is point D so summation of fx is equal to 0 minus T7 so minus 15 is equal to 0 T7 is equal to minus 15 kilonewton so now let us consider summation of Fy is equal to 0 so since there is only T8 here T8 is equal to 0 there is nothing acting in upward or downward direction except T8 so T8 is equal to 0 F this point F B D of F we have here 
25 this this so we have 25 t2 and t1 so let's consider sigma fx is equal to 0 we have t2 is equal to 0 since this is t2 is equal to 0 next summation of fy is equal to 0 if we have so minus 25 minus t1 is equal to 0 t1 is equal to minus 25 kilonewton this we have, we have done with f next let's draw the free body diagram of a this point in this what we have this 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 and this we have let's draw this t1 and we have t3 and this we have t4 and this we have va so this is the point a since this is 45 degree we'll resolve it into t3 sin 45 t3 cos 45 and if you do this you have sigma of fx is equal to 0 this we have t4 plus t3 cos 45 is equal to 0 now sigma of fy is equal to 0 that if you do we have minus t1 plus t3 sin 45 plus va is equal to 0 t1 we have already found out here so it is how much minus 25 plus t3 sin 45 and what is here va here we have that is 47.5 so it is t3 sin 45 is equal to minus 47.5 plus 25 so t3 is how much minus 22.5 by sin 45 which is minus 31.82 kilonewton so this is what we have and substitute this in this equation you get t4 is equal to 22.45 kilonewton so friends now let's consider this point c so here we have this 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 and this let's do it so we have t8 over here then hc over here what is hc hc is 15 kilonewton and we have vc over here and we have t5 over here and this is what we have t6 and this is making an angle of 45 degree with this so we have t6 cos 45 and this is how much t6 sin 45 since we have resolved the components now so now let's consider sigma of fy is equal to 0 so this is the y direction so first we have t8 t8 plus vc next plus t6 sin 45 is equal to 0 so this since we have found out earlier that t8 is 0 so vc plus t6 sin 45 is equal to 0 since we have already found vc vc is how much, much. this is vc so this is 7.5 7.5 plus t6 sin 45 is equal to 0 so t6 is equal to minus 10.60 kilonewton next summation of fx is equal to 0 what we have summation of x components this first we will take this so t6 is how much 10.60 is t6 cos 45 minus minus t5 this is plus 15 is equal to 0 so t5 is how much 
22.5 kN. Next let's do the free body diagram of this point. Here we have how much 20 kN. I had forgot to mention. Okay. Let's do it. So this is the free body diagram. So here we have what? This T4. And here we have T5. Here we have T9. And at the downside we have 20. Now we have sigma of Fy is equal to 0. So it is T9 upwards minus 20 is equal to 0. T9 is equal to 20 kN. So now sigma of Fx is equal to 0 this and this we have so it is minus t4 plus t5 is equal to 0 t5 is equal to t4 so let's draw the diagram and put the unit load at e so let's draw the diagram this is what is the diagram we have and here it is 1 kilonewton and this is what the roller support is and this is the fixed support we have a line here members are mentioned in this way these two are equal these two are equal and even they are having the same magnitude of forces and all the sides are 2 meter 2 meter 2 meter each so this is what we have we have 25 kilonewton and here we have 15 kilonewton since uh, the unit unit load is applied at the center at the center of the truss we have support reactions at all the points A and C is equal to 0 0.5 each so here we have 0 0.5 and here we have 0 0.5 so this is point A this is point C this is B D E and F so now consider on considering equilibrium at point D we have So let's take the forces here T1, T2, T3, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, T8 and T9. So we have here T7 is equal to 0 and T8 is also equal to 0. Okay. On considering the equilibrium at point D, what we had here T7 is equal to 0 and T8 is also equal to 0. On considering the equilibrium at joint F, what we have? We have here T2 is equal to 0, T1 is equal to 0, T1 is equal to T2 is equal to 0. Consider the equilibrium at joint B along the y axis what we have here t9 is equal to 0 so write it t9 is equal to 0 let us draw the free body diagram for point a so what we have here a we have here a okay we have t1 we have t4 we have T3 this is 45 so this becomes T3 cos 45 this is T3 sin 45 and since we have your support reaction we will consider that also 0.5 next sigma of F y is equal to 0 and T3 sin 45 then this is minus t1 
plus 0.5 is equal to 0 so here we have considered t1 is 0 so this is 0 so 3 3 sin 45 is equal to minus 0.5 t3 is equal to minus 0 0.707 since t3 and this are both are same so t3 is equal to t6 is equal to minus 0 0.707 7 and for the same diagram we will take summation of fx is equal to 0 so what will be having here so this components will be positive t4 plus t3 cos 45 is equal to 0 t4 plus minus 0 0.707 cos 45 is equal to 0 t4 is equal to 0.5 kilo newton so since uh, the diagram is symmetric so what we have here we have the all the uh, magnitudes are same so let's keep the values as t4 is equal to t5 is equal to 0 0.5 kilonewton now tabulate the resultant of of all members with the respective forces we have here member we have a tabular column P in kilonewton we have a tabular column so then load u in kilonewton we have a tabular column l in kilonewton p u l we have so let's consider the member a b a f a e b c b e c d C E D E and E F we have here 22.5 minus 25 minus 31.82 22.5 20 0 minus 10.61 minus 15 0 and here we have 0 0.5 0 minus 7 point zero minus 0 0.707 0 0.5 0 0 minus 7 minus 0 0.707 0 and 0 2 2 2.83 2 2 2 2.83 2 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 this 2.83 how it came means we have the diagram here Since this is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, this is A, B, C, D, E, and F. So since these are 2 and 2, by using Pythagoras term, 2 square plus 2 square is equal to A square, which is equal to E, C square. So A, E is equal to E, C is equal to 2.83, which is equal to root of 8. So we got this 2.10, 2.3. So this we have 22.5, 0, 63.67, 22.5, 0, 0, 21.23, 0 and 0. So y e is equal to sum summation of PUL by a e. So this is summation is how much 129.9 divided by AE. So Y is this much meter.